Okay, so today it's going to be viewer question, and Barbara By Byron Wisdom has asked me to do a reading on Foz, who's a Dubai Sheik and Crown Prince. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So honestly, I knew nothing about this guy. So I did a little research. It's just a short little uh, introduction I have for you. He's very, very interesting. I mean, Pretty cool. So, um, okay. So, viewer Barbara Byron Wisdom, love that name, uh, asked for a reading of Faza, F A Z Z A. He's a Dubai Sheik and Crown Prince. Now, in 1982, Faza, his birth name was Sheik Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashad al Maktoum and was born on November 14th, so he's a Scorpio, just like me. Of course, I was born later in the month. But his father, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashad al Maktoum, and his mother is a Sheikha, a Hin bint uh, Maktoum bin Juma al Maktoum. My goodness. Um, and so those are his parents. I got all ahead of myself with all that pronunciation. Now, she, his mother, is a senior wife of the father, the senior wife. And Faza is the second son of uh, those two's 12 children, 12 children with just her. Now, however, Faza is the third son of his father with any of his wives. I don't know how many he's got. And um, let's see, but Faza is fourth of all of his father's children with any wife. You, you follow all of that? That's a lot. Now his popularity, he's or he's popularly known as Faza, which is in in Arabic means the one who helps, and uh, this is the name under which he publishes poetry. Now Faza was educated at the Rashad School for Boys and then the Dubai School of Government, and he continued studies in the United Kingdom and graduated from Sandhurst in 2001 at the age of 19. He later attended the London School of Economics and describes that Sandhurst taught him self-discipline, commitment, virtue, responsibility, endurance, understanding, teamwork, and friendship and hard work. Pretty cool. Good school. Now, in 2000, from 2006 to 2008, uh, beginning at the age of 24, he began serving as Deputy Ruler of Dubai. 2008, at the age of 26, he was appointed as Crown Prince of Dubai, and he appointed economist John Calverly and hedge fund personality James T. Naim uh, when he became head of HN Capital LLP. Now, as an equestrian, he's a multiple world champion at the World Equestrian Games. And at age 28 in 2010, at the Altec FEI World Equestrian Games, uh, his team won bronze, and in 2011, he founded the Hamdan International Photography Award. But then in 2012, at those same games, the Altec FEI World Equestrian Games, his team won gold. And in 2014, at those games, he personally won a gold medal in uh, Normandy, France. Then in 2016, he led a team of five UAE riders at the championships in Samoran. Now, 2019, at the age of 37, now he's married Shika, uh, Shaika bint Saeed bin Thani al Maktoum. And on the same day, his brothers, Maktoum and Ahmad, uh, also got married. And he and his brothers celebrated the royal weddings together at the Dubai World Trade Center. Huh. Now, 2021, the couple welcomed twins, and that's a son named Rashad or Rashid and a daughter named Saika. I guess after the mom. 2022, he's 39, and he launched the Dubai Global Initiative, establishing 50 commercial representative offices for Dubai in five co continents to strengthen Dubai as a business hub. And also as of 2022, his Instagram account had more than 15 million 
followers. And then uh, he posts pictures of his hobbies, including animals, poetry, sports, photography, and adventures. And he's a licensed equestrian skydiver, scuba diver, and is known for romantic and patriotic poems in Arabic, publishing poems under the name of Faza. So that's all I could find out on Wiki about Faza. And here is the reading now. Okay, here we go. So I thought I'd use this Dal, uh, Dali uh, Taro, uh, Salvador Dali, uh, for this one since it's very artistic and this fellow seems certainly to be very artistic. And uh, so it should be a very good match. These come in a huge box and if you go stay till the end of the video, you'll see me uh, show you uh, these cards in more detail and uh, the, the huge box that they came in. It's pretty interesting. But for right now, Faza, what an interesting uh, name. And thank you so much, uh, Barbara Byron Wisdom, for suggesting this. Fascinating guy. I could only find his achievements, his accomplishments on Wiki. I really couldn't, I, or I didn't really look for what might be controversial about the fellow. But from, you know, just that, it sounds like he's an interesting person, other than being the crown prince of Dubai. I mean, I certainly have some hesitation about those kings uh, in Dubai. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, but I do. But um, so we'll use these cards to kind of get started. And you know, this shuffling bit and my having a little conversation in the beginning here is me kind of getting focused and trying to tune in to what might uh, be uh, interesting about whoever I'm doing the reading on. But before we do too much, you know what's coming next. If you watch my channel at all, we're going to have just a moment a little bit of meditation. Okay. And what I do there is I'm just reading that through two or three times, uh, usually in my head, always in my head as a matter of fact. And I have a longer uh, meditation that I do before I start the reading to kind of, again, get me focused. So Faza, Faza, what is the story with you, Faza? And uh, Barbara Byron Wisdom, thank you so much for asking about this. So Faza. You know, let's clear something up first of all. Let's ask the cards in just a few cards, maybe one, two or three cards, if this fellow is... Um, honorable if he has good intention um so that's what i want to know we'll start with one we might get two more hey faza what did the cards start to tell me about faza well he's a star la estrella so yeah this says that he certainly is uh, a shining star uh, my first interpretation for cards is always towards a positive uh read and i think that's the relationship i have with them so this is a positive situation that he is a star okay that leaves room for a little more interpretation let's draw one more card Okay, the second um, draw for this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of cups. Well, this is also very uh, a very good card. Ten of cups. Cups are emotion and compassion, and you know heartfelt situations. And the ten of cups is you know like happy family. It's like uh, a, a, a rainbow. It's almost like a wish is fulfilled, but it's a very uh, positive uh, card to get. So we have a star. And we have the Ten of Cups, so all good, all from family and uh, nice uh, energy. The final card for this first little piece here about Faza is La Emperatrice. And this is exactly uh, right. So the Empress is uh, of the earth, of nature. She's holding the staff and the orb, symbols of government and of ruling a people or ruling a situation too. And she's uh, backed by just this ocean of emotion. So this puts him, and Imperatrice is a good position because that'd be the second person in power and he is the crown prince. So he is not the emperor. He is in what would could be the, considered the position of Imperatrice or the empress. So all good cards. I, we seem to be on the right track as far as these identifying who it is that I want to read. So this is Faza. Star, generational, emotional happiness, and second in charge of what's going on in his uh, in his life, in his country, uh, in his world. So now, let's see, what can the cards 
tell us. Now, Barbara didn't ask specifically about Faza. She just wanted a reading on him. So we'll just do a general. We'll start with six cards and see if that leads us to any more and see what the cards can tell us about Faza. Interesting, interesting name. Okay, so let's get six cards right off the bat. One, two, love these dolly cards. Three, if you do wait to the end, you'll see that they're very interesting cards. And as a matter of fact, they were first commissioned for a James Bond movie, but they never made it into the movie. And I think I talk about that in the end. So here we go, six cards. Faza, what can the cards tell us about this, this person? Okay, Imperador. So the the signifier card of this reading is that he will be the Emperor. Very interesting. I mean, it's almost chilling how sometimes the cards are right on point. So the signifier card is the Emperor, but what's the challenge to that? The challenge to this Emperor card is one, two, three, four, five, six. Is the one, These are Six of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Six of Wands is victory. And so the challenge to him as emperor is in fact um, his victory. Huh, maybe that's the success of, my goodness, everything that looks like he's put his uh, mind to. Uh, he may find the position as emperor somewhat limiting perhaps. Uh, the basis of this whole reading for Faza is the Four of Cups, interesting emotions, compassions, and the Four of Cups is typically being offered something that you don't necessarily want. Okay, he's got a slew of brothers and sisters, and presumably other brothers who could perform in that emperor position uh, if, if something uh, came up about the, that he wasn't going to do it himself. And uh, so the basis of this whole thing is that uh, kind of being hesitant about some sort of a compassionate, emotional thing that's offered to you, and that has to be becoming the uh, king of um, this Dubai situation. Ah, and in the past of this reading is the, the devil, El Diablo, and so this is being tied to lesser intention. Interesting. So, so far, this seems right on point. Uh, in the sky of this reading for Faza is the loon, and that's the la, la luna, the moon, and this is secrets being revealed. And so look at this. We have a, a thriving metropolis here. We have the moon with all of her secrets uh, about to be uh, spilt. Uh, we have this cup of emotion just pouring out some sort of a red uh, truth over everything and the secrets crawling up out of the ocean and uh, the, um, uh, the uh, wolf and the dog baying at the moon. So what's in the sky of this is the secrets being revealed. Typically what's in, in the, the, the leading position of the sky of a reading is kind of what you're aim, aiming for. So that's interesting. So let's see what this, how this turns out here. And then the likely outcome of this for Faza is, okay, we're right back to that 10 of cups, that happy family. So the likely outcome is very, is very good for him. And, you know, I think we're gonna do four more cards just to see if he could tell us a little bit more because right now it's just kind of defined him again and told us about his life's path and, uh, and what his hesitations might be, his victories. So three more cards uh, about uh, four more cards rather about Faza. The very uh, self of that question, what can you tell us about Faza, is strength, fuerza. So yeah, so he has strength. Wonderful, wonderful reading. And uh, the uh, environment that that strength is in then is the uh, four of wands. And you can see here, one, two, three, four of wands, action, plans, forward movement, smaller celebrations towards something larger, and the something larger would be that now he's the crown prince on towards being the emperor. So perfectly um, makes sense right here. The hopes of the fears for Faza, page of wands. So the, the wands, of course, are actions, plans, forward movement, and the page is the very least effective of the court cards. You know, this is the fellow who brings a message to the court and says, um, what about this? What can we do with this? And this is the position he's in right now, Faza is, where he's not the, the deal maker, he's not the ruler, he's not the decision maker for the in kingdom. He's in the position of kind of a page, of just being able to suggest some, some issues. That's the hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome for Faza is this one, two, three, four, five 
of Cups. And the Five of Cups uh, is a very interesting card. Again, this is emotional, compassionate situations. And the Five of Cups is having spilt some of that emotion and having something left to carry on with. And we see here, this fellow here is reaching out to this maiden and, they're, and she's headed off into her future. And so this is a very interesting reading for Faza. So the final outcome is, although you may have lost uh, something of, 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 of value, of worth, uh, that you've got something to continue on with. So now let's read it all again and see if it makes a complete uh, sentence. So the um, uh, signifier of the reading is that the fact that he's going to be the emperor, El Emperador. Um, the challenge uh, to that is are his victories, okay, his, his successes that he's had as crown prince or even before. And the basis of this whole thing is being offered something that you don't necessarily want. It could be that the freedom that he has right now in the position he's, he's in gives him the perfect life. And uh, But maybe he has to sh understand shifting his, his uh, mind towards the responsibility of being in charge of everyone. And in the past over here is, in fact, being tied to those lesser intentions with this devil card. All the pleasures of life, some of that you have to uh, put aside, that your guilty, selfish pleasures towards uh, the betterment of your kingdom. And in the sky of this is the is the La Luna, and it's a secret's being revealed. And I have a feeling that it's a secret's being revealed about that monarchy there, that now he's going to have them, he's going to know them. And so that's what's coming. Uh, the... Um, likely outcome of this first part of this reading is happy, generational, uh, emotional uh, well-being. So that's good. We love hearing that for anybody. Um, the, um, especially if they're a good person, which it seems like uh, these cards seem to think that he is. The very self of that question is strength, having the strength to be the person that he's going to have to be, which it seems that he does have. And then the environment that that's in with this four of wands are all these smaller celebrations that he has towards that larger celebration of being uh, the king. The hopes and the fears uh, for him, then in this page of wands, I guess that would be the hopes uh, that uh, his uh, humble uh, suggestions of movements forward uh, uh, make some sort of representation in the kingdom or in the ruling situation that he's going to eventually take over. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that it won't be probably as fulfilling or happy a situation as he has now because we have the five of cups representing a lot of the stuff being spilled i don't think this is the freedom of his his life as it is now but still having something that you carry forward into your future and um so that's where we at faza it's a very good reading for him uh barbara and um it lays out that he's a good person apparently according to these cards and uh, he's enjoying his life and he's not necessarily so much looking forward to the responsibilities that are ahead of him, uh, but he will uh, carry on uh, with what he has left. Hope that uh, solved your uh, quench to know more about Faza. Well, that's my first reading on a sheik, on a crown prince. And uh, so tell me what you think. If it was interesting for you, or if it wasn't interesting for you, or if you have something else you want me to read on. And by the way, I've got some more videos coming up on viewer questions uh, soon. So stay tuned to this space. Yeah, hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so I got these great cards. And if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the for the interpretation uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, live and let die however uh, dolly's um, uh, price well, it was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Tostin has re um, uh, printed these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail, I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. 
So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside, you've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the card. When I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book, amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've, they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards, look at how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On The Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of The Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on The uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading and, um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now. You really make a big difference, thank you.